But there's a consensus. Suppose I'm a person who works for the benefit of my own people, for needy people, for my nation, at least the way our culture views this. I'm not a liar. I'm working for the sake of truth. What truth? It's your own truth. Comes someone else and says that this is wrong. You have to behave differently and take different decisions. How do I shift from a state where I lie to myself to a state where I see the truth? If you're looking for a solution, I'll tell you. Until we decide, what does it mean for the benefit of society as a whole? And we'll understand the laws of society and the state that it has to reach a homogeneous society where each helps the others and love another as thyself or are drawn to it, not just lip service, because you have a lot of bleeding hearts that talk that way. If we will place before us, set before us as a goal, the well-being of society in a way that we all connect above our own egos, in favor of the idea of all of us achieving connection, then maybe this way we can start taking into consideration the actions of each and every one, and still there are many problems that we'll have to cope with along the way. Okay, I'll try looking at this from our reality to see how I can realize this. I can respond to someone's post on Facebook who has a different political opinion than I do, but there's no way that we'll understand each other. Each has their own truth that's based on, I don't know, whatever, I identify with and we, we can't meet you don't understand each other at all and you don't want to understand you don't want to listen to each other right so what do you do on the one hand we're in a reality where we understand that we're being lied to that we don't really know what's going on but each is entrenched in his own opinion how do you know that you're not perceiving things in a distorted manner I don't you post some story or some idea on the net on different pages but you yourself are dishonest to begin with so what's the use put a lie over a lie place your lie over the other lies that you have there why? What for? What causes a person to identify with his lies? Because my lie is close to me. This is the lie that I live. It's mine. This is how I'm built. My inner system is built that way. And therefore, I'm going to protect it. It's not only something personal. There are camps. Right. In short. In order to start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, we have to go through education. And in this education, we have to start to get to know each other in a direct and independent way, each with their own past, each with their own nature. This you can do through integral education in small groups. This is what the wisdom of Kabbalah recommends us to do and teaches us how to do it. Then, this way, if we'll do this gradually, we'll start becoming acquainted with our nature and what do we have to come to in order to truly become independent, objective, in order for us to stop with our lies and what do I get instead of the lies? If I'm all a lie, then what can I do? If I get rid of the lie, what will be left of me? At least this way I exist. I'm advancing. Maybe in a bad way, but at least I exist. I have a life. I'm breathing. Suppose I get rid of all the lies. Suppose I take out my entire program according to which I behave with the world, with my children, with my wife, with my friends. I no longer know how to talk to them, how to relate to them. I can no longer understand what they're trying to tell me. 
and then there will be a complete disconnection between everyone. And if you have different political views, then alas. No, not only politics. It's about anything and everything, even with my children. We don't yet understand how all of us are completely immersed in a life from the tiniest to the biggest things. I don't mind politics. How much politics does an ordinary person consume? He listens to it for half an hour in the evening on TV. It doesn't really have anything to do with them. Today everyone has an opinion. You know how it is with political views. I'm ready to concede my political views towards my wife as long as she doesn't cancel my opinion regarding what I eat and what I do in my leisure time and so on. Very good, but there are people that can't do it and, and families fall apart because of politics. I don't think that this is the problem, but suppose. Meaning, we need an educational system if we want to get out of this. And I think that in the upcoming year, humanity will start discovering that the connection between the elites, politics, power, media, and all the rest of the things, it's all a result of a person's nature, that we're all immersed in a lie. And therefore, until we change, we're simply incapable of changing neither our country, nor our people, nor the government, nor all of our systems. But we have to start with people. It won't help if now we'll start doing reforms, big changes in the media, to fire the media. It won't help, so something else will come instead. Suppose we can't be without them, so something else, someone else will come instead. With a lie concealed so well that it will be hard for us to discover that it's a lie. We'll think that it's the truth, and it'll take us many more years to discover that it's a lie. And therefore, I recommend, listen to what the Kabbalists say, we have to start educating people. Without that, we will not be able to change our environment, our society, because it results from us. In this educational process that you're describing, what will happen with this creature that you call him a born liar? He'll start discovering that this is his nature and that in order to reach the truth, to see the true world, to see himself in a truthful manner, he has to change, rise above his own nature. And the main thing is, what does he gain as a result, as a result of reaching the truth? It's fine for me to be in a lie right now. I'm a bank manager or something. I make $10 million a year. What do I care that others make $1,000 a month and barely make ends meet? I'm fine. I'm well off. I fly. I go. I do. It's a lie. For me, it's not a lie or truth. For me, it's a good life and that's it. I'm not going to characterize it as true or false. We really need fundamental education for everyone. So if I understand, you're saying that you prefer a state where a person is a liar but is aware of it, that we see the lie, than a state where the lie is covered or it's wearing a mask, meaning that the lie is becoming disclosed now, that we can see it in society, it's a good state. I'm not saying that it's a good state. It's a necessary state. We came to this through natural development, where nature, on the still vegetative and animate levels, like we see from evolution and also the speaking level, meaning human beings, human society, from its primitive forms from thousands of years ago and to this day, it also has a developmental plan of its own. And therefore, according to this plan, According to this program, today we have reached a very special state where we see our nature, that we have developed 
and our ego and our lie of exploiting each other and today we can no longer agree with it it doesn't work anymore maybe we would have even been willing to continue living the lie but nature will no longer allow us to do it we're discovering such lies between us and such relations that we will not be able to stand them anymore. Even if we'd want to, we can't shut our eyes on it. And it's not up to Trump or Hillary or these or those. But the time has come that nature is bringing us such leaders, such people through which the new phase is becoming revealed.